things are getting special. Welcome, everyone, live to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Day First. Brad Brown, here we are, race weekend, and ready to go. And come Sunday, more than a quarter million people will fill this two-and-a-half-mile yeah. oval. Many of them will enter under Gate 2 on 16th Street, the historic main gate here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, currently adorned with the photo of the defending champion, Will Power, and one of those iconic pictures from race day a year ago in Victory Circle, Dave. And we'll start tonight the way we finished last year with Will Power in Victory Lane, but certainly his story goes well beyond that. In fact, if you add in his wife, Liz, it's a journey as personal as it gets. The powers of perseverance. Deep in the heart of some Carolina pines, you'll find the powers, a home filled with pictures, Will's new Porsche, and in these parts, a rarity, a pace car, signifying that the owner is an Indy 500 champion. We all love Indy. This is you know, that, that fresh pine air. Right. You know, this is pretty nice here, right? I'm a little bit out there. Um, I mean, out there as far as my <laughs> oh, no. I'm, oh, you're out there. I'm right. out there you're as out well. There. <laughs> Do any of the neighbors realize there's an Indy 500 champion living here? I'm pretty sure they all realize yeah. there's an Indy 500 champion. <laughs> Seriously, when I won, there's these bloody signs signs on the way to my house. <laughs> <laughs> like, didn't actually point to where my house was, but it was actually signs like. Congratulations, Will Power, Indy 500. That Sunday was a long time coming. His 11th start in the 500, and when it was time to go, he says he felt a calm. Liz nervously squeezing and chewing a number of water bottles the whole way, and with five laps to go, Steph Wilson and Jack Harvey head to the pits for fuel, leaving Will all alone with the lead. Will Powers going to win the 102nd running of the Indianapolis 500-mile race. Power had won a number of races of championships before, but this is Indy, and this is when it all comes together. There's the uh, that, that iconic image of you climbing out of the car and really giving it. That wasn't made up. No, that, no. That was, <laughs> I was just like the animal. Who was that guy? I mean, the eyes. I know. They, they told the story there, man. I mean, that's just everything built up over the years. You know, like myself, I had won a lot of races, more than anyone, yeah. over the last ten years, and I just didn't. I didn't have too, that much to show for it. So winning the 500 was just, you know, you can see some anger in there, obviously a lot of pressure off, just, just yeah. lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Completely lost it. But everyone understands why, though. Yeah. <laughs> everyone gets it. At over 55 career polls. Really, how many pole positions can you win, for crying out loud? Really? Yeah. Not enough until you pass Mario. <laughs> <laughs> and over 30 wins and counting. This kind of brings it all home. Obviously, the baby bulb and the sculpted face. You get the car. You get the figurine no with me way. going like that. That's pretty good. That's, awesome. That's pretty good they did that. But behind it all, a painting of their son, Bo, born in December of 2016, whose arrival as a story of the power of perseverance all its own. That was Probably rough. Just a bad, <laughs> the worst time of our lives, really. Yeah. How bad Actually, were things? Didn't, yeah, didn't realize like how they close to, like, she could have died. Like, it was really close. It was close. While Bo was born a healthy nine pounds and four ounces, the concern centered around Liz, battling serious infection, released from the hospital, and then readmitted for emergency surgery. You look back on it, you think, wow. <laughs> yeah. At the time, I have a newborn baby. I was in so much pain. Yeah. I didn't quite, neither one of us did, because it's sink or swim, right? You're trying to survive. Thank goodness we have wonderful friends and family. Will was amazing. It was followed by two more surgeries, and even then, things didn't seem right. And then six months later, in India, I found out that I had broken my pelvis from the delivery, got me walking funny, you know, all these things. It just kind of kept unraveling. Um, but at the same time, we got through it, yeah. you know, but it it made you appreciate last year that Don't much like, more. When you have a tough time in your life, you really, really enjoy when it's normal and good. Oh! 
Ultimately, it took some two years to recover. Bo and Liz battling off the track while Will battled on it. And somehow, finding humor in it now. How has that experience brought you guys closer together, do you think? With marriage, relationships, they're hard work. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be rosy all the time. Yeah. You've got to go through the bad. You said you're a team. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, I actually realized... I was going to say how much Liz does because I had to do so much. <laughs> when she couldn't do it, I was, I was yeah. out. This is good. This is good therapy. That's here. right. Is, let That's it out. That's good. Like, couch oh, session. How much she does. Right. Like, and I had to look That's after baby couch. and go and get groceries. And it's like, man, damn. Yeah. <laughs> See? I really appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate yeah. it. Really like, she does a lot. <laughs> All a part of the new power play taking on the twists and turns and doing so with a whole new calm where their appreciation of racing goes hand in hand with an appreciation of living. And now everyone knows who the Cindy 500 champion is now. You are going to have rough times, you're going to have great times. You've just got to enjoy the moments. You've got to really enjoy. And that's what I've been doing these last couple of years. I've well, the parallel with racing is pretty strong. I, I don't have that many years left in racing. You know, maybe I've got five years of good racing left. You have to enjoy every race. You have to put everything into every race. Because you're not going to, you know, you're going to look back and you don't want to regret that you didn't put the effort in. Because it comes quick. How strong is Liz? Well, despite the health issues, she made it to every race in 2017. While Will Power, well, hoping for a repeat on the track. He starts sixth Sunday.